Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Hard Space Shipbreaker. So, on today's lesson, <laughs> we're going to uh, continue our sort of endeavor to pull out the sexy parts of the ship um, for the best price as possible, right? So, the core comes out, the old patent pending scarlet friggin' kidney pull um, reactor seems to work fairly well. And we also found that if we go from the right side on approach, so the, the actual port side of the ship itself, through the the door of this is the scavenger series through that roller door that's not really a door it's just a bulkhead we can breach and vent if required so we might do that because the airlock is going to be too fiddly um so we might do that um so what we'll do is we'll get in there and do the kidney pull and then we're going to have a look at the thrusters and try and come up with a plan for them because I think there was a time where they would just come loose. Like, if I could do it without using the isolation key, that would be ideal, right? Because that's money in the pocket. You don't need to do it. But the advantage of the isolation key is that it's safely... It's, well, it safely isolates all the lines. Now, the fact that they actually patched it so it doesn't disconnect, because I think they would potentially float... You know, actually, I think they float free if you use the isolation key. Don't worry about that. But the fact that they patched the purple block that attaches them to the pipe so that you can't use it to cheese and cheat, because that's what people were doing in the old day. Well, I guess it's called an exploit, right? If it's in the game, but you know that it's wrong. That's not cheating technically, I suppose. Cheating would be breaking the game on purpose. No, that would just be using an exploit. Still, come from the same bag as a cheater in my my book. Um, so, I'd be curious if maybe they've changed the minigame on isolation valves. Remember, we were trying to figure out if you could hear the fuel or if there was some trick to it. Um, and it seems that it's a random puzzle. There's three thrusters and there's an order to do them in and that's all there is to it. I don't know if we can figure out the particular order. Maybe we'll have a look at that. So, let's... um. We'll pull this, we'll pull the thing out first. No, that's a heavy cargo, right? That's it there. Salvage runner. So we'll set the scene, we'll pull the core out, and then at least we'll make a little bit of money. And then we'll have a look at that scenario and see if we can figure out, because there will still be fuel in those pipes. See if we can minigame it from there. What's this fucking bullshit? Well, that's a bit rough. Abandoned ship. The ship immediately starts exploding. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of us in the community that are wanting ships to be, you know, have issues and all that sort of stuff, but I don't think being unstable like that is sort of what we had in mind. You know, they should still be stable in a stationary unmolested state, right? But as soon as you start going in and poking and prodding, you could potentially trigger off some broken systems. Because otherwise, how would they get it all into the dock and that? Would they really take charge and ownership and bring that thing out here if it's about a second away from sparking? All right, interestingly, corridor's clear. All right, everything's sort of vented there. So I might actually come in from... I think I can hear an explosion, and I think that's an audio glitch tied over from the previous explosion. We'll persevere, hopefully it's not too annoying. You can sort of hear it in here somewhere. That wasn't a bad cut. Salvage destroyed. Please revisit your training. Shut up, Shaz. I know what I'm doing.
So it has no health, but I think someone might have commented that maybe after I burnt this off, there was... Like, it should still have full health bars. Alright, it's got half. That's a bit rough. Sparking straight away like that. Alright, we're okay. Yeah, my concerns about the devs watching videos and then patching the fun out of the game still stand. I feel like that might be their philosophy. Like, I don't not said like that, let's make it less fun. But I think that might be their actions, is that they go, Oh wow, look at what this speedrunner's doing, look at that interesting thing, let's patch it so they can't do it. And that doesn't really... Um, that doesn't really make for a happy community, I don't think. Alright. Well, hang on, there'll be no harm in me shutting down the coolant, right? Oh, you know what? That might be a problem. Because, uh... Where is it? It's up the front. I don't really want to go through all the... It looks like it's got oxygen in there as well. Whatever. It can vent like that. I wonder if it eventually runs out. So. So I don't hear anything there. This was the thing we were always trying to figure out. You can definitely hear something there. I wonder if it's different. No, you can hear it. And that's part of the game, is is touching pipes like this as well. You should be able to hear the coolant coming through there. Oh, I guess it's not making it. Oh, that actually is a good example. You can't hear anything on that. But if we were to go... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Fucking bullshit. Alright, whatever. Why am I still frozen? Stop that. Some weird shit going on with that coolant. Alright. But, it still stands. We can't move this, it's attached, right? So I wish there was a, a puzzle to it. Used to manually extract the thruster without utility key. Warning, it may cause rupture in fuel line. Yeah, you're not fucking joking. But there's no way of knowing. And I've tried to do it fast. And fast is good. But, um... But fast doesn't pay the bills here. And there's no other discernible, bloody, visual... ...markers. It's such a shame it's a random puzzle. I guess it comes down to how fast do you think you can do it. And I think it makes sense to go from right to left, right? Having said that, that... I seem to have a bit of speed when I went that way. Alright, so we've got a 1 in 3 getting this. Fuck. That's interesting. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! Not, not fair! I did that very quickly. I couldn't tell if I was cancelling the animation. Hmm. How are we doing for time? You know what? I won't abandon because we got the core. Plus, I uh, I just occurs to me that I said I think abandoning is probably poor form. 
It seems like an exploit to me. So we'll clock the shift. I'll come back in and I'll do another thruster pull. We'll see what we can get out of that. Um, because I was pretty, I was pretty impressed with uh, how quick that went just then. Give me more ships. Let's hope it's not glitched out audio. It probably will be, to be honest. Uh, how do I know? I've played this game many times. Salvage runner. Right. I guess we could do this on any ship, you know? Any, any of the geckos. But it makes me sad because he, here's the thing as well. Like you look at the game design, but like I'm not just expecting them to do a puzzle the way I want them to do it in a vacuum. See, there you go. This is what the audio glitch from the first ship, but not from the second. It's that the fuses, if you're not aware, the fuse, the fuse boxes have a really clever puzzle. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. That's just destroying my speakers, that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a fuse box timing puzzle, right? And on the back of that, I sort of go, why isn't there a, oh, great. So this is gonna mess with my zen. You know, why, why would you have this th the three fuse boxes with a very clever timing puzzle that's obvious, and then have these three things and not have associated puzzle and have it purely random? It's so weird. It's two fundamentally different concepts for game design in the face of each other. All right. Oh, the reactors. Okay. Okay. I see. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Yeah, because I shut it off, I guess. Um, that was interesting. Uh, I don't know if it was always there, but I can seem to animation cancel the... Um, the... the turning of the switch, and that way I could move between them quickly. Now, as with all good experimentation, we need empirical evidence. Because I might have just done the puzzle in the correct order then, you know? So let's see if that's repeatable, if you follow. Sadly, we'll have to set this up properly. It's such a shame. So much of this game just doesn't encourage freedom and clever stuff, right? We're now going to have to go through and vent the the ship properly. Well, actually, you know what? We can get away with it here because, because it's empty. But if it wasn't, we wouldn't be able to do that. And like the explosions bricking your machine. This is a point that I've harped on about is like, that's less a design issue. That's more an optimization issue, right? The, the devs can't really help that they've built this beast that has so many particles that it just can't manage you making a mistake, but the, the gameplay uh, ramifications for that is that you're just not going to risk 
explosive decompression and that sort of stuff because it's going to brick your system if it goes, you know, so it's not like a, it's a fail state, essentially. It's not like something you can even recover from. Oh, for crying out loud, really? So I guess this is interesting, putting bloody fuel tanks in my way. Um... Do I necessarily have to pull the core to test this, though? I don't. But I suppose what, the reason I was ramping, uh, ranting about that, about just not encouraging a sandbox, like, you would assume, playing with this ship, there should be a sandbox approach. But if we can't figure out... I'm going to test it again, but if we can't come up with a way to speed lock this consistently, right, where it's just a random puzzle, the answer is always going to be to pay the money, to buy the key, to isolate the thing, right? And there's no way the devs want us to do that. Surely, that's not fun. Why would you have all these fail safes in place? You know? It's very strange. All right. stuck ah. so that's interesting that almost I think that proves my point actually right because even though I turned those first two locks fast you heard the lines pop in order right so they didn't I don't think they actually popped because I didn't get to the third line in time I think they popped because I did the puzzle in the wrong order, if that makes sense. Otherwise, why would they sequentially burst like that? Hmm. Hmm. Might be worth testing one more time. Salvage destroyed. We're just going to go in and turn the handles. I guess it can be on any ship. Not a stargazer, they're too narrow. Well, we'll just go heavy cargo, it's been a while. And I'll do this and then we'll finish up, keep the video about the same normal sort of length. Um, but yeah, you can, if you, if you feel that I'm frustrated, it's, it is such a shame that the, the, the actual com computational constraints of this game make it so that it's not it's not that, oh, half the ship blew up, I can recover. It's like, half the ship blew up, my frame rate's gone to shit, I can't play anymore. That's the end of that, so I don't want to take any unnecessary risk, which is not fun. So this has still got the audio glitch as well. This has been in since launch. Um, and, uh, and yeah, my, I'm definitely Air perplexed by what they want to do with this rear end thing so they did patch out the purple blocks which is in line with the philosophy of hey people were doing that <laughs> let's patch it out but i i initially already said that i think that it's an exploit come on what the fuck Oh, did I just cycle an airlock? Oh, I thought I pressed the, uh... Well, actually, here's a party trick that might be part of the puzzle a bit more. I know that when you turn these switches, they send an alarm. And when you're in pressurized environment, you can hear things better. I'm not sure if people realize that. You actually get like different sound cues. So that's all like, I wonder if there's a, I would love if there was some sort of audio cue, like some sort of audio puzzle going on here.
See now, how we haven't got lights on there, I think that's a glitch associated with this particular hull. We've seen that sort of thing before. Anyway, so I'll show you, it'll actually make a sound that you'll be able to hear. Sort of sounded like we got the puzzle right, you know? So why didn't any of the the gas vent? The reactor hasn't shut down. So you tell me that these pipes are actually empty now? Oh, that's not conclusive. I'm not sure if the thruster exploded then or if the pipe... I think it was the thruster. Alright, that's enough of that. So... Uh, I can't figure out the puzzle. I, d I doubt there's anything to it, to be honest. This game's been out a year. No one in the community's gotten to the bottom of it, right? I think it's straight up. But like I said, to, to put on a summary, it's sad. The fuses, there's a one, two, three flash pull, and there's three fuses. Okay, cool. Set the scene for a quick time event sort of puzzle solving. For those things at the back, nothing. It's random. You can do them in any order you want, but one of the orders is correct. And I don't know, what is even the percentage chance of it? Because it's not even a one in three, right? It'd be a three, wouldn't it be three factorial? Surely. Three by two by one, right? So six, one in six chance. I'm not 100% sure. Check me on that one. I haven't, I've done sort of random combinatorics for fucking decades. But um, but if it was that, for example, one in six chance, no, you never do it. You always buy the key, and then then you go, well, what is this game design? <laughs> They're only buying the key. They're never explosively decompressing because their computers crash. Oh. I wonder why everyone pulls the ships apart the exact identical way as each other. Hmm, okay, cool. So, it's, uh, yeah, it sort of kills creativity. But, um, again, I still love this game, you know what I mean? And anyone that's watched the bloody hundreds of episodes that I've done will know that this is a point that I've come up against as well. But I suppose I'm just rehashing. There might be people that came along later in the game. Um, and I can sort of, because we experimented with this, like, over a 20-episode sort of arc of just figuring all this shit out and shamefully or not shamefully sadly it hasn't really been changed which oh neither here nor there it just means that we don't take any bloody risks and we cut every ship the exact same way just about oh well so it goes that's clearly what the developers want us to do so we'll do it all right team thanks again for joining me I might just leave it there for the time being and i will catch you guys on the next one